I intend to marry. The Lady Alison Hightower. What did he say? Hey. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Sean Tanktop. I just wanted to let you guys know that this episode is brought to you by our patrons. All the people that are signed up on our bar regular tier on our Patreon are watching this video completely full and uncut right now, and you can get early access with them all throughout Season 1 of House of the Dragon and all of our bar reaction coverage if you sign up today. So we hope you guys consider doing that. Thanks a lot for stopping by, and enjoy the video. Welcome to Dragonstone, Otto. <laughs> Your occupation of this island is at an end. You're to relinquish the dragon's egg, disband your army, banish your whore, and leave Dragonstone by order of His Grace King Viserys. Where is the king? I don't see him. His Grace would never lower himself to entertain such a mummer's farce. It's a Crispin, wasn't it? It's a Crispin poem, I think. Ah, yes, apologies. I couldn't recall. Perhaps my prince recalls when I knocked him off his horse. <laughs> Very good. This is a truly pathetic show, Damon. Are you so desperate for the king's attention that you've resorted to skulking about like a common cut purse? I'm simply keeping with the traditions of my house, the same as my brother did for his heir. For bastards fathered on a common whore. Lady Nassari is to be my wife. This is an abomination. With every breath you sign your name, your house, and your brother's reign. Our love does not know titles and traditions. You've come for the egg. Here it is. Are you mad? You've never survived this. Well, happily, neither would you. <laughs> to choose violence here is to declare war against your king. Wonderful. Even if it ends in the death of your unborn child and its mother. Fucking steel. Sekel. <laughs> Where's he lied to me? <laughs> and right here, Uncle. The object of your ire. If you wish to be restored as heir, you'll need to kill me. 
So do it. And be done with all this bother. You are now still we were to be wet? On the morrow. And that I was with child. You are child. Well, perhaps when we are wet we can make that true. I ensured long ago that I would never be threatened by child and birth. Good. Children can be such irritating creatures. <laughs> you have to protect me, Demo. Dragonstone is quite secure. He's been my nephew to Prince's head on a spy, but what would they do with the common or he claims he's taken to wife and made with child? No one will harm you. I have been sold this property more times than I care to count. Beginning in a homeland, I, I can no longer recall. You're safe with me, I swear it. You are Targaryen. You can afford to play your stupid games with the king, but I cannot. I didn't come into your service wanting gold. I have come looking for an unencumbered opinion. That's all I would ever give, Your Grace. Ever since my name was read by the Archmaesters at the Great Council, I have felt Corlys Bellarian's envious gaze staring at me from across the black water. Proud men don't like having to look up. <sighs> you truly want my unencumbered opinion? I do. You should wed Lane of Valarian, Your Grace. Save Lord Corlys and fix him at your side. Your Grace, the princess has returned from Dragonstone. Dragonstone? <laughs> yes. You are my only heir. You could have been killed. May I sit? <laughs> Without her, the Red Keep has lost a warmth and I dare say it will never recover. It pleases me to hear you say this. To know that I'm not alone in my grief. I wish I had known better what to say to you in the aftermath. I do not wish to make us estranged. You are the king. And so your first duty is to the realm. Mother would have understood this. Just as I do. I intend to marry. The Lady Alice and Hightower. Before spring's end. This is an absurdity. My house is Valerian, the greatest power in the realm. And I am your king.
House Valarian's origins reach back to old Valyria. More ancient even than the House Targaryen. According to some texts. But unlike the Targaryens, we were no dragon lords. For centuries, my house had to scratch out an existence from the sea with grit and luck. When I ascended the Driftwood throne, I knew what I wanted, so I went out and seized it. Unlike every other lord of the realm, I can say that I built my house's high seat with the strength of mine own back. having been made from the same cloth. I wasn't aware you had a king for a brother. We're both men who have had to cut our own way through the world. We've been passed over too often. Did you call me to Driftmark to remind me of my low standing, Lord Corliss? Or was there some other reason? Some Mirish prince is feeding Westrossi sailors to the crabs. I have been petitioning the king to send my navy into the territory. But he's denied me. No, he was never my brother's strongest trait. What? Being king. Crab feeder is backed by powerful entities within the free cities who wish to see Westeros weakened. And the king's failures have allowed him to accumulate strength. If those I will not have Driftmark beggared while our king idles himself with feasts and balls and tourneys. I will speak with my brother as I wish. You will not. Where's even the stepstones? It's a chance for you to prove your worth to any who might yet doubt it. It must be made. 